Welcome to the Great Exodus series. God's plan of rescue for you. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael and I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. Please become a member at Triple Grace at our website at triple gracecom Sign up for the newsletter but also become a full member. It's all free. All the resources that I'm talking about, you will find there. Join us at Patreon to become a patron of Triple Grace. Help us in our mission to bring forth and establish the societies of the Rose in the nations. You can do that by donations, by financial support or any other kind of support. And all the links are in the description box below. Our topic today in the Great Exodus series is about it is not optional. Michael, what do you mean about it's not optional? It is not optional to do righteous deeds. It is not optional to support one another. Where is it in scripture? The people who will enter paradise at Mount Zion are the people, the multitude, clothed in fine white linen. You see that in the book of Revelation. At the sixth seal. Now, if the fine white linen is a criteria to enter paradise or heaven, then what, what are these fine white linen? What do they represent? It is not only for the multitude in white, closed in white, that will enter paradise, but you see it before in the fifth seal also, for the, uh, for the murderer who, have, who are under the altar, they will also receive white fine linen, so that they can partake in the rapture that will come at Mount Zion. Now the fine white linen is clearly described in the Bible what it is and what you have to do to receive it. It is written in Revelation 19 verse 8 that the fine white linen are the righteous deeds of the saints. Ah, now it's clear. We have to do the righteous deeds of the saints. Then we receive our fine white linen and we are ready to enter paradise. Ah, wait, wait, wait a minute. What are the righteous deeds of the saints? Also that is written. Read Matthew 25, 8, I think. I'm not sure 100% anymore, but look at it in Matthew 25, where Jesus tells him about the white throne judgment and, who, and how, it will, how you will be judged there because your heart will be judged. It is written there that the people who have visited him in prison, who have helped him in any kind of situation, that these people will go to heaven. And then it's written in that verse, the righteous will ask him, the righteous will ask the king, where have we seen you in prison? Where have we given you food? And so forth, and so forth. It's clearly written, this refers to the righteous. And the righteous is also the time for Mount Zion. It's a time when you bring many to righteousness. So righteousness is the next step. The escape of the bride will take place. And then it's a time of the righteous. The wealth of the sinner is stored for the righteous. The righteous deeds are a requirement to enter paradise and to receive your white clothes. So it is not optional. You cannot say, I'm saved and I remain seated and I'm waiting for the Lord. That will not bring you into paradise. You have to get the white clothes and the white clothes you will only get all oh, the righteous deeds that you will do after you were saved. You are saved through grace by faith alone. But 
after you are saved, then you will do the righteous deed. It is a process. It will not stop there. As many people claim, now you can sit and wait. No. You have to repent constantly of your false ways and your sins, and you continue in righteous deeds. to lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless. Now you'll say, where can we do this? Our churches are never teaching something like that. Of course not, because you're in an end-time church, and these churches are lukewarm. They are mainly in the world and a little bit in the heavenly kingdom. That is the reason why we have built, over the last 10 years, the Societies of the Rose and Triple Grace, to give you a way, a new path to Mount Zion, that will, at the end, give you the white robes where you will come together daily and do daily sacrifices of love, which are the righteous deeds of the saints. Come together in love, unity and support. You will share your resources. You will help the other. You, will, you are looking for the needy. You do all this, what is written in Matthew 25. And then you are qualified. Nobody can take away the glory from you. This is not working for salvation, because salvation must come first. You cannot be righteous without being saved first. And you are saved through grace by faith alone. I will always stress that. But then, after you are saved, now you have to do the righteous deeds of the saints. And who, whoever is teaching you otherwise is a liar. He is a liar and a deceiver. It is not optional. If you want to enter paradise at Mount Zion, if you want to be raptured at the sixth seal, you have to do the righteous deeds of the saints. And you have to come together in love, unity and support. And you have to do the harvest work on the way to Mount Zion. So please join us. If you understand, read the Bible, it is not optional. If you understand that it's not optional, then there is no other way than to come together in assemblies of love and righteousness. So please join us at the website of Triple Grace, join us at our YouTube channel, join us at Patreon, and establish societies of the rose in your neighborhood, and gather the people together, and do righteous deeds of the saints every day, so that you are qualified to enter paradise. I know there will be the people of the Osas and the work crowd who will say, you don't have to do anything. I tell you again, I know, because I have received it from the Holy Spirit, this is a lie. A lie. You cannot just wait and sit. You have to continue working in your salvation. You are saved to grace by faith. Absolutely right. But then, with your new heart, and in a transformed way, you will go forward and do the righteous deeds of the saints. And that will make you perfect. And that will give you the white fine linen that is required, not only to enter paradise, but also to enter heaven. Thank you that you are listening to me to this very important message. Please spread it to the people. Let the people know that it's not optional. Let them understand that everything is written in the book of Revelation and in Matthew 25. They just have to open the Bible and to read it. It is clearly described what the white uh, fine linen are, what they represent, the righteous deeds of the saints, and it's also clearly stipulated in the Bible what these righteous deeds of the saints are to take care of the needy, to go to the people in prison, to help the sick, and so forth, and so forth. And this is what you have to do. But do not forget one thing. Everything, your whole salvation also hangs on your repentance. Your heart will tell you when you have to repent. When you feel bad about what you have done, something, maybe bickering, fighting, whatever, repent. Because you are saved. 
and your sins will be forgiven when you repent. That's the reason why Jesus was in this world. To walk with us to Mount Zion. Receive your mansion, your beautiful mansion there at the mountain slope. And stay with the Father and with Jesus forever and ever. I invite you. I give you my hand. Please take it. Take my hand right now and walk with me. You have no, not much choice and not much time. Come out of the world, out of Babylon, and walk with us together. If I read and see the YouTube videos, sometimes I start to cry because I know that these people are deceived. They will not enter. They all think they are part of the bride, but they will not. Only a few people will go. And what is about the other than the who are left behind? Do they not also have a hope in Christ and hope in the Lord? Of course they have. So join us and walk with us so that we can gather them together. When hopelessness has come to them, then it's our time to gather them. Because there will be the time of the great harvest and the great rapture at Mount Zion. And you can be part of it. And do never, never, never forget Daniel 12, 3. That when you bring many people to righteousness, you will shine as the stars in heaven. So please join us. Forget about all the other prosperity, poverty, hypergrace and everything else you have heard. This is the way of the Lord. The path to Mount Zion. So walk with us together. I thank you that you're here with me every day. Please spread the channel. Use your social media to spread it. Bring the people in. Talk to them. Send them to Triple Grace, to the website, to the YouTube channel, to Patreon. Let us all come together to build it in the name of the Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I love you all so dearly. Please join me right now. And for all this, I pray in Jesus' name and plead His blood over it. So come and join me. Build it together in the world, into the nations. I love you all so dearly. And I can hardly wait to take you all by the hand. Thank you that we're here with, with me today and that you are listening to the message. My name is Michael and I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. May God bless you and your family abundantly. And I will see you again tomorrow for another exciting message. Maranatha.